Hello there, Bimbler here, and welcome to episode 3 of Skint to Minty. Right, so look, Bimbler on his new character in a hideout, something I could I could only have dreamt of as an Iron Man. And look at all this loot, something I could probably, again, only have dreamt of as an Iron Man. So, as I spoke about um, in the previous episode, I wanted to tell people what I was doing to make money um, and then go into a little bit of detail how much I was making and that kind of thing. We went over fiber gathering in the black zones last time and that was quite nice money but you're not getting any combat fame. You're getting nice gathering fame obviously but no combat fame which you know I think most of us want to get about that. So I've been told about another way of doing random dungeons, which it isn't like incredible in what you're doing, but it's slightly different. So what we've got is maps, okay? Now, normally you would go into a red or black zone and you would use your map and, and then travel to it. And quite often it can be one or two zones away. Well, what we do with this is we're in the roads now this would work even without a hideout you just have to make sure you are in the same tier zone as the map so we use the map okay and there it is the dungeon is this is the one downside to using maps normally is you have to travel you could be two two zones away from your map and there, if you're doing tier 6s or tier 5s, actually no, tier 6s, <laughs> if you're doing tier 6s, you're going to be in a full PvP zone. So, that makes a big difference. That We can safely, or relatively safely, travel to our dungeon and just start doing it. Oh, if we can get in, that is parked a bit close there. Okay, it's the same rules as with with a, with a dungeon in the open world, even though you're in the roads, these do shut after 90 seconds. So I click log out to get my timer going. So as you can see here, this is the loot we got from that dungeon I started earlier. Um, and it's not too bad. And these this was from a blue and a green chest only. So it's quite a short dungeon and no legendaries, no purples, and we make some pretty decent money. What I'm going to do, though, I'm going to go over a live stream I did a few days back um, at where I broke down the earnings so you can estimate what you're likely to get per hour. So here we are at the end of the stream, and um, we've done quite a few dungeons. and uh, Over about 2 hours and 20 minutes, I think I calculated it, at, and that was the profit we made. And it was just under half a million an hour. And I'll be absolutely honest, we didn't get very much luck with this either. Um, there weren't very many purple chests. It was mainly blues and green. So it's actually a, a fairly conservative estimate. So for me, this is a big thumbs up. And I'm not using a speed clearing build. And also I'm streaming it and chatting and not really as focused as probably some people are. So... It's definitely a, a very, very effective way of, of earning silver and combat fame. Okay, so what position are we at, in at the end of all this? Um, and we're still trying to make ourselves rich. <laughs> we're not there yet, obviously, but we're almost at our first or second goal, actually. First goal was to get premium. Second goal is to buy three months premium to make it more efficient. We've got 15.1 million in silver we've got three million in our bank in our hideout and we've got a couple of million in the bank in Limhurst. so we've got enough money to do it however we're not going to be selling all of it because it's going to be stuff we want to keep so we've still got a little bit of work to do and here while while i'm looking at this here is the downside to this method that i have I've gone through today I've got to take all this back. <laughs> I've got to ship this all back to a city and sell it. So that's a risky business. Going to need a decent amount 
with a decent carry capacity or we're going to need to take multiple trips and um, yeah we could lose it all so that's the one downside to it as far as I can see um, so far I have made a couple of shipments back and had no issues I think you just got to try and time it with a quiet quiet time of day and that should be um, reasonable so to recap all in all T6 maps in the roads really good excellent fame excellent silver downside having to ship it all back and are we having fun doing them yeah because it doesn't feel too repetitive it's not like doing tier fives in the yellow zone where you have to do dozens of dungeons to get the same results you'd probably have to do i don't know three times the amount i would say and although you'd probably do it in a similar time frame it just feels more grindy this doesn't feel grindy so i really like it anyway that's all for this episode i uh, hope you enjoyed it if you did give me a like or subscribe if you didn't like it dislike hopefully you'll do the first ones um and i'll see you soon bye